We're starting with the half kneeling landmine press. Landmine is just a cool tool in which we wedge part of the barbell in, and it's gonna give us a lot of control, so there's a little less stability required, and it allows us to press at an angle that's a little more friendly to the shoulder and teaches how to make the shoulder move. So this is a great position to start with. When you're setting up the actual body position, we're in that half kneeling position. Great position to require a tremendous amount of rotary stability so that you can work on both uh, preventing rotation and flexing side to side. Again, having the stability to be able to develop a strong shoulder. All of your weight is going to be positioned on this back knee and it's positioned directly below my hip. I'm creating tension in that belly and I'm flexing my butt cheeks with that little tuck so that I have a foundation all the way to the ground. Now, if you are feeling any pinching in the back or discomfort in the hip, I recommend just adding an extra pad to elevate you so that you're getting less position in the hip and it's a more comfortable position to stabilize. Then I'm going to bring the bar up. At the bottom of the position, the bar is going to stabilize right here. If it was to, going to continue, it would be sitting on my shoulder. So if we ignore the bar for a second, you'll see that my elbow finishes at my side not behind me in which that shoulder is going to roll forward and you're going to get some tension there. Okay, well, bar sits right there. As we press, the bar is only going to allow us to go one way. What I want you to think about is two cues. One is you're going to imagine your elbow and your hand both driving forward up the wall in front of you. At the same time, I don't want you to feel you need to push a perfect straight line the shoulder naturally moves off the body and draws a bit of a J curve as I press. And that's going to be a more comfortable position for the shoulder. So I brace my position. I make a fist on the other side. And as I drive my elbow forward, I allow it to come off the body. Full extension of that elbow on the way down. I'm going to think about pulling that elbow towards my hip, which is going to help make sure that my back is active for support. The rest of my body is stabilized. There's no leaning or folding into the position. And as you can see from the angle, this is a great place to start if you do have a history of shoulder issues because we are not getting fully overhead. We're pressing more at an incline and we're teaching that shoulder blade how to wrap around the body into this position. So half kneeling, landmine press.